Welcome to episode 38 of No Man's Land with me, Farm Sim Snowy. Welcome back to No Man's Land, everybody. First of all, apologies for the delay between last episode and this episode, but a few things have happened. I've been a bit busy at work and with family things, and I wanted to try and speed up the storyline in Oak Hill as well. And then three maps dropped in one day, so I had to spread that over three days because of obviously being busy as well but we're back and this is a new episode so since the last episode i've ridden the horses so if we go into here now you can see they've all got 100 percent daily riding now because they did dip a bit in price and fitness they're now going to take a slightly longer than normal to get up to full fitness but that's a problem we've just got to deal with everyone else is doing okay so far pigs are obviously eating their way through everything so we'll be topping them up as and when but yeah i think that's roughly all that i had to do really since the last episode um, obviously we bought those new plots of land so what I would like to do is just get those tracks or roads filled in just to make it look a little bit more um, better right it is that one there I believe is it as wide as that I normally go I think it is so yeah this is just going to make it look a little bit more how it should be seems to go a little bit thinner there but we'll keep it the same because this is a nice wide track and then the next plan of action is we were going to start um without sounding brutal attacking these trees <laughs> but it's going to help us increase our fields I will put more trees down as we go I don't know whether I still want to see what those ones we planted um, before are going to actually look like because if they look ridiculous then it may be a case of having to just place the trees as placeables so that they kind of fit in better on the map because I don't want them looking a bit silly and odd and out of place. This is going a little bit shaky here and there, but it's going to give us a challenge driving it. I'm pretty sure that is the right width for it we went. It should marry up with that. That's okay. So that looks a bit better around there, and that's just this bit up here. I might just see what it looks like if we go down one I do like this area coming up through here across this sort of like mini cliff if you want to call it that so it'd be nice to be able to sort of force ourselves to drive along this section we have of course got the windmill up in front of us so that is a sail point maybe we can start coming up around this way and obviously there's more trees there that are going to be casualties. It's going to take me quite a while to get through all of these though. So it could be a case of doing some little bits here and there. But we will get round to it. So we're almost there. like so I think that looks pretty good right so that's looking a little bit more better liking that so yeah um, I was thinking I'm still undecided about this clump of trees here 
don't know whether just leave it as sort of a feature of the field but the other ones I'd definitely like to get rid of these because we're going to extend this field out and all of these because we're going to make this field bigger so we need to get ourselves a forestry machine and I think we'll probably go with what we went with last time which is this one I'm not going to change anything on it because do we really need engine set up I suppose it wouldn't hurt it's only it's pretty flat around here and it no let's not bother so we're just going to lease that but again like last time we're probably going to have it for quite a while so we might get stung a little bit more than what we'd hoped for but that is not a problem it's all going to be worth it in the end so what I'll probably do is grab the pickup because we've not taken the pickup out for a spin for a long time all our tractors are dotted everywhere around the um, farmyard area so we'll head on down and we will get our scorpion king and then I'll probably cut from the shop up to where we need to be because that is a very slow moving vehicle and you don't want to be going through all that because it would be most of the episode me just getting from the shop to the farm area <laughs> so we'll go and jump in this fella just park him down here somewhere I should do there we go so yes yeah, the same one we used before so nothing special nothing's changed so I will head on up to the first one of our casualties and I will see you up there. Right, so these little fellas here are going to be our first casualties. I'm going to turn on the help menu because I've forgotten a little bit how to use this. So open cover should unfold it all. And we need to change the cut length. I think we will go for 6 meters. Because I think the best length is roughly between 6 and 8 meters I'm led to believe. I know we could go 7 but we'll go 6 because it's a little bit more manageable. Turn on processor, I think that should be enough for me now. As soon as we get near or we'll get... Oh my goodness, what has happened there? It did this to me before, you know. I don't know why it does that. Alright. How are you going to behave yourself now? That's better. I think it just has a funny five minutes when you first start using it. But we're off. One down. Absolutely loads to go. But like I say, it's probably just going to be a work in progress again here and there. But we have at the minute nothing to harvest. We could cut our grass, which we probably will do. In fact, what we might do is cut our grass field in all this area here before we plow it up. And that can go in our bunker silo so that we can make more money through the silage. I 
should be able to get that one from here. Hopefully. There we go, we're not quite in line, but it's still accepting the fact that we can cut it. Which is all well and good for us. Right. Now, let's turn that off. I'm going to tackle this area here. Like I say, it's going to take me a while. So, maybe a little bit of a time lapse and a little bit of skipping here and there. But we'll see how it goes. So, I did a little bit of a time lapse at the start and then I carried on. I've got two left to do, as you can see. But, whilst that was all happening, these four fields are ready to harvest. So that's our cotton, barley and two corn fields ready to go. So I think we'll cut these two trees down. We'll have a little bit of a break from that. Or I will. <laughs> And I think I might start, I know it's going to be quite expensive, I might start a race between two workers on the cotton field. We'll start one in this corner, then one up in this corner, or this, these corners, whatever I, I choose. And we'll see what happens. And then that will allow me to do a little bit of the corn and we'll tip some into the pigs when we get there. But we'll get rid of these two. This area is already looking nice and open and big it's surprising how much difference it makes when the trees are gone so let's cut these up So much easier cutting them down like this so instead of the chainsaw and... but that still doesn't shy away from the fact that we have to pick them all up now and put them onto a trailer <laughs> but we should make some decent coin from it all because I probably will collect them all at the same time when we Whoa, that was my fault. Should have moved that. <laughs> Alright, so those bits aren't going to be together like they should be. That's my bad. Right, let's swing that round and lift that up. I'll turn that off for a second. So yeah, look at that area now already. Lovely. Yeah, so we've got to pick them all up. We've got to cut the stumps. So I've actually not that much grass here, to be fair. This is all sort of bare and leaves and that on the ground. So once we've got rid of the logs and the stumps, I'll see how much grass there is actually to cut. But we will definitely do our grass field again. Anyway, I, what was I going to do? We need to lease... Um, two of these I mean they are expensive but 
at least we have got the money. So it's going to cost us 24735 That's initial leasing costs. Hopefully the workers will get it done pretty quick and without too much hassle. So I'm going to lease one of those and another one of those. So that's two of those. What we're we looking for in terms of price for the cotton. Oh, great. <laughs> both places we can sell it are both going down. Brilliant. And also what we need to do, I've kept my eye on, we could do with uh, clearing some of the eggs and the wool from the chickens and the sheep. So I'm going to run over and grab a tractor to do that. Right, so we've got the egg trailer on. As you can see as well to the left, the potatoes have just sprouted through so they can get their second stage of fertiliser put on as well. That's another little job we can do in a second. But what I will do is, I'll tell you what, we'll come round, we'll spin back round. literally just to clear them enough to stop the dreaded message coming up there should easily be a trailer full there and then I think we'll just put the trailer over here by the trees and we'll go over and do the same with the sheep just get so many eggs from those chickens it's brilliant would be nice to get another pen I think eventually in this gameplay series we well we're only one animal type away from having all of the animals um, available so that's the cows so eventually we will get cows again again we haven't had them at all so I don't know why I said again but we will get cows and they will probably go in this sort of area in front of us as you can see the bells are still there I've not done anything with them I'm not really touching them yet because it was a bit of a time consuming task when I moved them to there so I'm not prepared to start doing that just yet they can just sit there for a while we will put the let's just check on the wool and egg prices so the wool's not too bad at the spinnery I think we might take this trailer load over there actually eggs aren't too bad at the vehicle shop but we're just there's no desperate rush to sell them we'll take this wool over while we've got it attached though I'm guessing the animals probably made a bit of mess as well in that time. Our trees, new trees haven't made any more progress, have they? They're going to take quite a while, I think. Right. Eleven thousand. That's not too bad we can deal with that right what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go down to the shop and get both of those cotton harvesters up here and we'll do what I said we'll set two workers off in opposite corners from each other and see what happens right so we've got them both ready to go the other one is in that corner you can't quite see they should be already unfolded and we will turn on off we go we're going to hire a worker straight away I'm gonna... ah the engine's turned off right turn on hire a worker 
off they go both of them running you cannot see the other one that's how big our field is we'll probably stay with this guy just for a second I don't normally tab across from vehicles but I think we will just to keep our eye on this this first sort of run that these these guys do especially this side because it's um, not quite dead straight so I couldn't trim the edges up with the landscaping tool on this side because we're literally right on the edge of the map there it's all looking pretty good so far the wrong way, there we go hopefully we should get a nice amount um, off of these fields we don't have to sell them straight away, we can just store them over here or something like that but it's all looking pretty good so far Oh, there's the other guy, look, oh no, not quite. It's literally just too far away to go into a picture. Oh, Helper H has completed their task, really? Well, that's a good start to that little game, wasn't it? And this guy's, what is this guy doing? You're gonna stop like that. It just amazes me, you've got a nice perfect, the trouble is if I stop them, I'm going to stop them now. Right, that did not go to plan, did it? Because the workers won't damage your crops, because I've got crop destruction on. If I'd have stopped them too early, we would have been in danger of damaging that. I know it's not a vast amount of air, but that's besides the point. Right, surely if we do this little section here, and we get them going again here. So, and why is this one stopped there? I have no idea. Right, we'll try and set them off again this way round. I'm hoping it was just because it was that edge, but there you go, you can see the other chap on the other side. A little bit annoying. I'll have to see if I can get some sort of thumbnail going here. Right, well, we're going to leave them to it because I'm sure they can cope now. We'll just see what this chap does. And then I'll jump over and I think we'll grab the New Holland Harvester because it's got a bigger header. And I'll start on one of the cornfields just so we can get enough to top the pigs up. And then I think we might get a forage harvester and chaff the rest of the corn and then tip it in our bunker silo just so it tops that up and we can start earning some good money back again from that right so they look like they're actually going to do the right job this time that's good and is this one going to It 
looks like it. That would have said completed tasks by now. Come on, turn. You can do it. There we go. Excellent. Right. I'll see you in a second over the other side when I've got the new Holland all ready to go. Right, hopefully they will actually, I'll tell you what we're going to do before we get carried away. Let's fertilise this field just so it doesn't get up to the next stage because we should be able to do it without changing to narrow tyres. check we're on 45 we are indeed all right let's just test the water a little bit it should be okay whoa it's not okay wow i thought that would have been okay right we're going to change the tires then That's a bit annoying. I'm sure we didn't do too much damage. We only did a little bit. Ah, oh, now that's... Need a workshop tablet like PC have got. Right, let's just drop that off there. Let's try again. Let's give that a little repair while we're there. Customize. And now I probably, you're going to tell me there's no narrow tyres on this one. Brilliant. Right, so we need the fence over here. This is going from a nice, sort of chilled, relaxed episode into a nightmare. I'm going to go and grab the fence because it's over by the sheep and I will see you back here in a second. Right, here we go, let's try this again. We'll go about there, I think, because that should be enough. Almost wide enough to do it in one pass, but not quite. So we'll do that and we'll turn it down to 24 which is the lowest we can go which should be that that's just that little strip there and I think I will start not on that field but the field over there with the corn is that it'd be nice to clear that field because that is the next field that's going to have the trees chopped down next to it and potentially extended right we'll drop that there we'll worry about that later so that should now be fully fertilized 
these guys are doing okay by the look of it so far that could all change though so we're jumping this bad boy we'll get it set up and then we'll kind of work out how much we think the pigs are going to need they're definitely going to need more than one harvester full if that makes sense I mean we could harvest a whole lot like this actually and store it for the pigs I think we might do that actually instead of hiring another forage harvester and whatnot. I think that is what we'll do, that is the plan so let's unfold this fire that up oh, what am I doing that is not right so I've actually got the right header this time and I've bought a new one I've bought the bigger Quasar, the 12 meter one, the other ones we've still got, it's over in the shed there, I just thought if we get the wider one it's going to be quicker, and it'll fit better on this harvester I think as well. So I think we'll um, probably just harvest the corn like this as normal not worry about a forage harvester because if we start leasing that again it's more money and swapping all machinery so I think we'll just do this and we'll tip it all into our silo and at least we've got some corn ready for the um, pigs when they need it let's unfold that first and away we go We should get this done in pretty quick time. What I probably could have done is got a worker going on this one, and we use this harvester to do that awkward field. Um, let's get a chap going on here. Right, he's off and running. Well, oh, I can't see. We'll go and grab our John Deere, and we'll start on that. We might as well. So we are getting well productive this episode. They've all been fertilised now. That's all good. Straw man still smiling. That makes me happy. Right, let's drop this head off, just there would do, and then get our 9 metre quasar. So, oh yeah, I forgot we um, put the green colours on this one, that's quite cool. I would have done that with the new 12 metre one, but they haven't got like the new Holland yellow. The only yellows that are on there are JCB, a sort of orangey yellow, John Deere, which is too bright. And what was that one? Challenger. Right. Let's get going then. 
I'll probably bring you back in when, well, either all this is done or maybe a little bit sooner so you, we've got like a full trailer load tipped straight into the pigs. So I will bring you back in in a sec. Right, so we've just got this tiny little bit left of this cornfield. As you can see, the one in front of us is all done and dusted. I've got machinery everywhere at the minute, so it's going to need a good clean up after this episode. Looking like we're going to get nearly a full tank here on the harvester. Our guys, well, I say guy now because over on the cotton field I had to intervene because I didn't want them both having half sort of finished bow so I stopped one work worker as soon as they got a full bow again a cotton bow I stopped them and just let one more carry on so it's just one harvester that's going to have a an unfinished bow I've no, uh, no idea of how much they will have but I think we have got four full bales of cotton over there so that's pretty good off of that field as you can see just over there I thought I'd try out our new trailer we've got quite a bit of corn in there as well off of these two fields which is a very nice indeed I'm sure the pigs will appreciate it They'll probably eat all of it in a couple of seconds, but that's the way it goes if you've got pigs. And that should be it. So let's turn that off. We'll go and run and grab our truck. I suppose I could have just driven the harvester over to the truck, but <laughs> I wanted to actually see how much we've got in this trailer. I think it was about 50,000 litres. 68. That is not too shabby. Pretty impressed with that, and we've got more to come as well. So let's see what we end up with. And we'll tip some obviously it's not going to take all of this but we'll tip as much as the pigs will take there we go we've got helper egg still going it looks like they might have missed a tiny little bit there so I might have to just tidy up over there that's the other chap there that I stopped and I was going to look at the pigs just to see where they're at in terms of corn. They're getting quite low on the corn, so that's good. And then obviously our barley field, when we harvest that, which will be next episode now, that can get tipped straight in, as will our potatoes. So it's probably going to be growing things just to tip into the pigs. But we've got 81,000, nearly 82,000 litres of corn. So we will go and see how much they take. I'm guessing they're going to take quite a bit of this. I'm thinking they're going to take around half of this, maybe a little bit more than half. So yeah, we've got plenty of things to be doing next episode as well, which is good because that keeps us busy. And the animals are all going to need a tidy up, but I will do that after this episode off camera. And I'll also have a good tidy up of the machinery, I'll put them away. There you go, that's more than half they've taken. Greedy little so and so's. So now, if we go into there, they should have a full bar 
of corn, 89,000 litres. So yeah, that pretty much works out, like I said before, a 1,000 litres per pig of everything I'm guessing. That is quite mad. Right, what I'm going to do is I will cut to the cotton harvester. We'll go and tip this in our silo first, let's do that. And then we can just top the pigs up as and when they need the corn. Seeing as that is their main source. And then I'll jump over to the cotton harvester and we'll see what's happening over there. I quite what I like about this trailer is it doesn't tip up look. That's quite handy that. So we'll leave that there and I'll jump over now to the cotton harvester. Right, so I've taken over now, as you can see, and we have indeed got four full bales. It looks like we're gonna have half a bale here as well. It normally lets you unload a finished unfinished bow. Come on, let's get up to 50%. Come on, we're not going to make it, are we? That is a shame. But that is almost half a bow, so if we unload that like so. probably going to look like a full bow but it's not but that is pretty impressive that is four and a half bows off of that field so there you go let's go and have a look at one they look like just big lumps of cotton wool <laughs> that is it that is pretty good loads done this episode really pleased with that again apologies for the delay between the two episodes but i hope you have all enjoyed this episode if you have please give me a like and if you haven't subscribed yet then please do and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos of mine i've been farm sim snowy stay frosty